So Cale Madsen nominated for Video of the Year for Avalanche. Can you tell me how the idea came to you with the album covers for Avalanche? Um, my dad had like uh, that magazine of Rolling Stone's 500 greatest albums of all time. And I remember looking at it when I was a kid and sort of falling in love with the, all the album covers. And my dad had a really big record collection that I could go and, you know, if I saw a record that I thought looked cool or read that sounded cool, I could go grab it. And um, yeah, and then it was sort of, uh, the idea was to, you know, sort of take a tour of like all the records that I love and some of the best album covers of all time. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the shoot for that. It must have been a little complicated to have to run from one to the other and make it happen the way it did. Yeah, it was like one really long day. It was like 18 hours. Uh, and a lot of people worked on that video a ton. Um, but I, I just sort of like stood there and like sang my song and like people put costumes on me, you know? Like I don't feel like I did a whole lot, but you know, yeah. Um, there's also the video you did uh, and the song, of course, the recording of Hotline Bling. Is there a reason why you wanted to do Hotline Bling specifically? I, I Now I'm regretting it. Uh, I did it like, you know, like a week after that song came out and now it's like unquestionably my most successful thing that I put out. Oh well, you know. It's a good song, you know, it's a good song, so. It is a good song. How is it on being on, on the home label now? Um, has that changed anything in terms of your music being able to get out there? Uh, yeah, I get to make music videos like Avalanche, you know, and like, that's not possible on, uh, with no budget. So, um, yeah, it's really good. It's really good so far. I want to ask you about Jim Bryson. I understand you were working with him on the Avalanche uh, EP, and uh, you're kind of a big fan, and maybe we're a little bit... Uh, a little bit uh, uh, intimidated by going up to him and like speaking to him. Tell me about how that worked out. Yeah, um, right when I'm originally from Sault Ste. Marie, and uh, when I first moved to Ottawa, I went and saw Wilco, and I, Jim Bryson was in like the lobby. And you know, like I think I went up to Jim and like was like, "Hi, Mr. Bryson, I'm a really big fan." And then now he's like one of my best friends, and you know, he works on my records, and I record with him all the time, and uh, yeah, it's pretty funny. And now Jim's just like a normal dude, and I don't know why I was starstruck at 18 or whatever. <laughs> you guys are both big Wilco nerds, right? Big oh, Wilco yeah. fans, right? Yeah, yeah, unabashed. Yeah. Right. Thanks so much. Good luck. Thank you very much.